Good evening and welcome to Big Stories for Big Ears. It's time to settle down and see if these stories can fit in your ears. As always, I've got some really big stories for you. And I'm not sure they'll fit in those cute little ears of yours. So you know what? Let's make them bigger just for a little while. And then we'll get to the stories. Now take your hands and gently grab your earlobes. Very slowly now, pull those little earlobes down towards your belly. Remember, be very gentle. Now let's grab the very top of our ears and stretch them up towards the tops of our heads. Back to the earlobes now, gently pull them down. Let's check if your ears are bigger now. Yeah, you did a good job. They need to get a little bigger still, I think. So stretch the top part of your ears one more time. Do you feel that little fold on your ear? Go ahead, roll that out, and run your fingers down the edge of the ear, stretching out each part as you go. Now fold your ears in on themselves and then let them pop back out. Gently pull the middle part of your ears. And that's it. Very good. I'm sure the stories will fit now, so let's get started. Settle in and enjoy tonight's tales. The first story tonight is about three little fish. Once upon a time in the deep blue sea, there were three little fish, each with their own unique personalities and dreams. The first little fish, Finley, was known throughout the ocean for his adventurous spirit and insatiable curiosity. From the moment he emerged from his tiny egg, he was drawn to the colorful world of the coral reefs, mesmerized by the dance of the sea anemones and the graceful movements of the tropical fish. Finley's fins twitched with excitement as he darted through the crystal clear waters, his heart filled with wonder at the beauty that surrounded him. One sunny morning, while exploring a particularly lush patch of seaweed, Finley had a brilliant idea. Why not build his own home among the swaying leaves? With boundless enthusiasm, he set to work, carefully selecting the sturdiest strands of seaweed and weaving them together with practiced skill. As he worked, he imagined the cozy sanctuary he would create, a hidden refuge where he could rest after his underwater adventures, surrounded by the gentle rustle of the sea. And so, with each meticulous twist and turn of his fins, Finley's dream began to take shape. The second little fish, known as Scales, possessed a remarkable knack for resourcefulness and a keen eye for hidden treasures. From the moment he hatched from his tiny egg, he felt a magnetic pull toward the mysterious depths where the remnants of ancient ships lay scattered like forgotten relics of the past. Scales reveled in the thrill of discovery as he delved into the murky depths, his scales shimmering in the faint glow of bioluminescent creatures. One fateful day, while exploring the remains of a sunken vessel, Scales stumbled upon a particularly sturdy shipwreck. Inspired by the solid structure and protective walls of the abandoned ship, he decided to make it his home. With meticulous care, he gathered pieces of driftwood and salvaged forgotten treasures from the ocean floor, each item carefully chosen for its history and beauty. As he worked, Scales envisioned the cozy sanctuary he would create, a refuge where he could retreat from the unpredictable currents and fierce predators that roamed the sea. And so, with each careful placement of a wooden plank, and every delicate arrangement of a shiny trinket, 
Scales transformed the shipwreck into a shrine to shipwrecks everywhere. The third little fish, Carl, possessed a wisdom far beyond her years and a practicality that guided her every decision. From the moment she first opened her sparkling eyes, Coral felt a deep affinity for the sturdy structures that dotted the ocean floor, providing shelter and protection to those who sought refuge within their walls. Unlike her more adventurous companions, Coral preferred the safety and stability of solid foundations over the fleeting excitement of exploration. One serene afternoon, while swimming along the base of a towering underwater cliff, Coral stumbled upon a spacious stone cave, its entrance partially hidden by a curtain of swaying seaweed. Instantly recognizing the potential for a secure and cozy home, Coral wasted no time in making it her own. With a deft flick of her tail, she gathered smooth pebbles and delicate shells, carefully arranging them into a comfortable dwelling. As she worked, Coral imagined the tranquil sanctuary she would create, a haven where she could retreat from the unpredictable currents and harsh realities of life in the ocean depths. And so, with each stone and shell carefully placed, Coral transformed the humble cave into a refuge, showing her unwavering determination to thrive in a world where safety and security were often hard to come by. Now, lurking in the depths of the sea was a cunning shark named Sharpfin. He had a reputation for being ruthless and hungry, always on the lookout for his next meal. When Sharpfin caught wind of the three little fish and their homes, his eyes gleamed with hunger. One ominous day, Sharpfin approached Finley's seaweed house, his shadow casting a dark cloud over the vibrant ocean floor. With a sinister glint in his eye, the shark circled around the fragile structure, baring his razor-sharp teeth in anticipation. Little fish, little fish, let me come in, he called out, his voice echoing through the water. Terrified, Finley's little heart pounded in his chest as he peered out from the safety of his seaweed shelter. Not by the seaweed on my finny fin fin, he replied defiantly. With trembling fins, he steeled himself against the overwhelming fear but just as Sharpfin lunged forward, his jaws gaping wide, Finley summoned every ounce of strength and agility he possessed and darted away with lightning speed. For a heart-stopping moment, it seemed as though Sharpfin's razor-sharp teeth would close around Finley's delicate tail, but at the very last second, with a burst of adrenaline-fueled energy, Finley narrowly escaped the clutches of the voracious predator racing through the swirling currents and narrowly avoided the jaws of death. Gasping for breath and trembling with relief, Finley swam with all his might toward the safety of Scales' sturdy shipwreck house, his heart pounding in his chest as he sought refuge from the relentless pursuit of the hungry shark. Frustrated and ravenous, Sharpfin turned his attention to Scales' shipwreck his predatory instincts heightened by the scent of fear that hung heavy in the water. With a menacing glint in his eye, the shark circled the sturdy wreckage, his hunger driving him forward with relentless determination. Little fish, little fish, let me come in, he growled, his voice a low rumble that reverberated through the ocean depths like a warning. Scales was clever. Not by the driftwood on my finny fin fin, he retorted, but he knew that sticking around would be a bad idea. So he and Finley darted away as fast as they could, their scales shimmering in the murky depths of the ocean, leaving Sharpfin to gnash his teeth in frustration. 
Enraged, Sharpfin followed the delicious scent of fish, unknowingly heading towards Coral's stone cave. With a fierce glint in his eye, he circled the entrance, his massive form casting a menacing shadow over the tranquil waters. He licked his lips in anticipation. A little fish, little fish, let me come in. He snarled, his jaws snapping eagerly. But Coral was wise to Sharpfin's tricks. From the safety of her stone sanctuary, she watched with steely determination, her heart pounding with fear but her resolve unyielding. Not by the solid rock on my finny fin fin, she declared. With a flick of her tail, she sent a cascade of rocks tumbling down, blocking the entrance and thwarting Sharpfin's relentless pursuit. Despite his best efforts, the hungry shark was unable to penetrate Coral's stronghold, forced to retreat once again in search of easier prey. Frustrated and defeated, Sharpfin swam away into the darkness, his hunger unsatisfied. And from that day on, the three little fish lived peacefully together in the stone cave, knowing that they would always be safe there. I hope you enjoyed the story about the three little fish. I know I did. If there's still room in your ears, I've got another one for you. This one is called Nova in Space. Once upon a time in the vast expanse of the cosmos, there lived a bold explorer named Nova. Nova journeyed through the starry void aboard her trusty spaceship, seeking out new worlds to uncover. One fateful day, her sensors detected a trio of planets orbiting a distant star, each one beckoning with its own mysteries. Excited by the prospect of exploration, Nova eagerly chartered a course toward the first planet in the distant star system. As she approached, the sight that greeted her filled her with awe and wonder. Molten rivers of lava snaked their way through rugged mountain ranges, carving deep channels into the scorched landscape. Towering geysers erupted with dazzling displays of light, sending plumes of ash and steam high into the air. But it wasn't just the glowing hot land that captivated Nova's attention. As she scanned the horizon, she caught glimpses of fiery creatures that called this blazing world home. Great winged beasts soared through the smoky skies, their scales gleaming like molten metal in the intense heat. Among them, Nova spotted a majestic dragon, its massive wings outstretched as it rode the thermals high above the fiery landscape. Flames danced along its serpentine body, casting a warm orange glow that illuminated the surrounding terrain. These dragons were not the only inhabitants of this fiery realm. Nova observed smaller creatures scuttling among the rocky outcrops, their bodies adapted to withstand the searing temperatures of their environment. Some were adorned with shimmering scales that reflected the light of the molten rivers, while others had developed thick, heat-resistant hides to protect them from the intense temperatures. As Nova skirted the blistering surface of the planet, her ship's sensors detected the presence of powerful electromagnetic fields generated by the planet's molten core. These fields gave rise to spectacular electric storms that crackled and danced across the sky, casting a mesmerizing display of light and shadow. Despite the breathtaking beauty of this fiery world, Nova knew that it was not a place she could stay for long. The intense heat and volatile atmosphere made it dangerous to life forms like her. With a sense of reluctance, 
She guided her ship away from the planet's surface, its shields shimmering as they absorbed the intense heat radiating from below. Hmm, this planet is too hot, Nova remarked to herself as she glanced back at the blazing world receding into the distance. Though she marveled at its beauty, she knew that it was not the place for her to call home. And so, with a sense of determination, she set her sights on the next planet in the system, eager to continue her exploration of the cosmos. Undeterred by the extreme conditions of the first planet, Nova eagerly redirected her course toward the second world in the distant star system. As she descended through the thick layers of clouds shrouding the planet's surface, a breathtaking landscape of ice and snow unfurled beneath her. Jagged glaciers stretched their icy fingers across the frozen expanse, carving deep valleys and crevices into the pristine landscape. Frozen lakes shimmered like mirrors in the pale sunlight, their surfaces adorned with delicate patterns of frost. Ice crystals danced in the frigid air, catching the light and casting reflections that painted the sky in a mesmerizing array of hues. Shades of blue and purple blending together in a symphony of color. But it wasn't just the natural beauty of this icy world that caught Nova's attention. As she ventured deeper into the frozen wilderness, she encountered many different creatures adapted to survive in the harsh polar environment. Massive polar bears prowled the ice flows, their thick fur keeping them warm and comfortable in the biting cold. Seals slipped gracefully through the frigid waters, their sleek bodies cutting through the icy depths with effortless ease. Despite the stunning beauty of this frozen realm, Nova couldn't shake the chill that seeped into her bones. As she wrapped herself tighter in her thermal suit, she couldn't help but murmur to herself, This planet is t too cold. Her breath formed delicate clouds in the frozen air, a stark contrast to the fiery atmosphere of the previous world she had encountered. Though she marveled at the icy wonders that surrounded her, Nova knew that this frozen world was not meant for her either. With a sense of determination, she guided her ship away from the icy surface, its engines roaring as it soared into the starry void once more. And before long, with the memory of the frozen landscape still fresh in her mind, Nova set out to explore yet another planet in the system, eager to continue her quest for the perfect world among the stars. As her spacecraft approached another planet, she was greeted by a sight so stunning it took her breath away. Verdant forests stretched out before her, a vast expanse of emerald canopies that seemed to go on forever. The trees stood tall and proud, their branches reaching toward the sky in a majestic display of nature's grandeur. It wasn't just the towering trees that captivated Nova's attention, though. As she descended through the atmosphere, she marveled at the abundance of life that thrived within this lush wilderness. Strange and beautiful creatures darted through the underbrush, their iridescent scales shimmering in the dappled sunlight. Birds of every color imaginable flitted among the branches, their melodious songs filling the air with music. Crystal clear rivers meandered through the landscape, their waters sparkling like diamonds in the sunlight. Nova watched in awe 
as fish of all shapes and sizes swam beneath the surface, their movements fluid and graceful. Along the banks, lush meadows stretched out in all directions, carpeted with a riot of colorful flowers that danced in the gentle breeze. As Nova stepped out of her spacecraft and onto the soft forest floor, she was struck by just how many different forms of life surrounded her. Insects buzzed in the air, birds chirped in the trees, Forest critters she'd never seen before curiously approached Nova to get a closer look at their new friend. The air itself seemed to hum with energy, vibrant and alive with the pulse of the planet, basking in the warm golden glow of the sun. Nova couldn't help but feel a sense of peace wash over her. Ah. She sighed in awe. This planet is just right. And indeed it was. Here, amidst the beauty and wonder of this alien world, Nova knew that she had finally found her place among the stars. And so, with a heart full of gratitude and wonder, she set out to explore this magical planet, eager to uncover its many secrets and mysteries. Exploring further, Nova encountered wonders beyond her wildest dreams. A hidden oasis nestled among the trees, where sparkling waterfalls cascaded into crystal clear pools. She wandered through enchanted forests, where ancient ruins whispered tales of civilizations long gone, and mysterious monuments loomed like sentinels against the star-studded sky. As Nova roamed this magical world, she felt a sense of belonging that she had never experienced before. With each step she took, she knew that she had finally found her place among the stars, on the planet that was just right for her. And so, surrounded by the beauty of this alien paradise, Nova embarked on a new chapter of her endless journey through the cosmos, her heart filled with wonder and excitement for the adventures that lay ahead. I hope you enjoyed that story too. Our last story tonight, I simply called Nutmeg. Once upon a time in a dense forest far away, there lived a squirrel with the longest tail anyone had ever seen. Her name was Nutmeg. Nutmeg's tail was a marvel to behold, cascading down in a glorious display of fluffy elegance. Each strand of fur was as soft as the finest silk, shimmering with hues of chestnut, gold and amber, just like the autumn leaves that danced in the breeze. As Nutmeg moved, her tail swayed gracefully, weaving intricate patterns in the air like a painter's brush on a canvas. Its fluffiness seemed almost ethereal, as if it were woven from threads of sunlight and dreams. It was said that the sight of Nutmeg's tail could brighten even the gloomiest of days filling the hearts of all who beheld it with joy and wonder. Nutmeg and Hazel lived in a grand old tree standing tall and proud amidst the forest canopy like a guardian of the woods. Its trunk was broad and sturdy, adorned with intricate patterns of moss and lichen that told stories of ages past. The branches of the tree reached out in all directions, creating a sprawling cover of vibrant green leaves that rustled in the wind like whispers of ancient secrets. Hidden among the foliage were clusters of delicate blossoms 
their petals painted in hues of pink, white, and lavender, filling the air with a sweet, intoxicating fragrance. At the base of the tree, the roots spread out like a web of gnarled fingers, burrowing deep into the earth for strength and nourishment. Around its trunk, a carpet of lush ferns and wildflowers flourished, creating a haven of life and color in the heart of the forest. Inside the tree, hollowed-out chambers formed cozy living spaces for nutmeg and hazel. Each room was adorned with treasures gathered from the forest. Acorn caps turned into cups. Woven baskets made from twigs and vines. And soft beds fashioned from moss and feathers. Sunlight filtered through the canopy above, casting dappled patterns of light and shadow that danced across the walls like playful fairies. And at night, the gentle glow of fireflies illuminated the tree with a soft, ethereal light, turning it into a magical oasis in the darkness of the forest. Their life together would have been enchanted had it not been for the fact that Hazel had always been jealous of Nutmeg's beautiful tale. Hazel, consumed by envy, forbade Nutmeg from leaving the tree. Your tail is too precious to risk, my dear, she would say. But Nutmeg longed to explore the forest beyond their home. Nutmeg's days followed a predictable rhythm within the confines of her tree abode. As the morning sun filtered through the leaves, Casting a warm glow upon her cozy chamber, Nutmeg would awaken from her slumber, stretching her limbs and fluffing her tail in preparation for the day ahead. With a yawn and a playful twirl, Nutmeg would scamper over to her makeshift dining area, where a stash of acorns and berries awaited her. She would nibble on her breakfast, savoring the earthy flavors of the forest's bounty before setting about her daily chores. First on Nutmeg's agenda was tidying her living space. With nimble paws and meticulous precision, she would arrange her belongings, acorn caps, twigs, and bits of moss, into neat piles, ensuring that everything was just so. Nutmeg took great pride in her cozy nest, and she found solace in the simple act of tidying up. Once her chores were complete, Nutmeg would settle in by the window, gazing out at the world beyond with a wistful sigh. Although she longed to explore the forest and all its wonders, she knew that her stepmother's watchful eye kept her tethered to her tree. And so, Nutmeg contented herself with watching the comings and goings of the forest creatures, imagining herself among them. As the day wore on, Nutmeg would pass the time with various diversions, perhaps a game of hide-and-seek with a passing bird, or a lively conversation with a friendly chipmunk. She found joy in the simple pleasures of life, reveling in the beauty of the world around her, even from the confines of her tree. As the sun dipped below the horizon and the forest grew quiet, Nutmeg would curl up in her cozy nest, her fluffy tail wrapped snugly around her. With a gentle rustle of leaves and a soft sigh of contentment, Nutmeg would settle herself into a perfect ball her fluffy tail wrapped protectively around her like a downy blanket. Each strand of fur seemed to embrace her in warmth, creating a cocoon of softness that shielded her from the chill of the night. Curled up in her tail, 
Nutmeg felt safe and secure, cocooned in a world of her own making. She would close her eyes, and with a contented sigh, she would drift off to sleep, dreaming of adventures yet to come, her breaths coming slow and steady as she drifted off into a peaceful slumber. And as she slept, her tail would twitch and flutter with the dreams of distant adventures, a silent guardian watching over her through the night. In the depths of her slumber, Nutmeg's dreams carried her far beyond the confines of her tree, whisking her away to distant lands where adventure awaited at every turn. She dreamed of soaring through the treetops, her tail trailing behind her like a banner of freedom as she explored the vast expanse of the forest. Each rustle of leaves and chirp of birdsong filled her with a sense of exhilaration her heart pounding with the thrill of discovery. In her dreams, Nutmeg encountered a myriad of creatures. Wise old owls with tales of ancient wisdom, mischievous raccoons with secrets to share, and gentle deer who guided her through the shadowy depths of the wood. But amidst the excitement of her adventures, Nutmeg's dreams always led her back to her tree, where Hazel awaited with a smile and a warm embrace. In these moments, Nutmeg felt a sense of peace and belonging, unlike anything she had ever known. And so, wrapped in the comforting embrace of her dreams, Nutmeg slept soundly through the night, her tail twitching with excitement as she journeyed through the realms of imagination, knowing that wherever her dreams may take her, she would always find her way back home. Through the dappled sunlight that filtered through the lush canopy of leaves, Nutmeg would sometimes catch glimpses of a familiar figure darting among the branches. It was Chestnut, the brave chipmunk whose visits always brought a flutter of excitement to Nutmeg's heart. At first, he would appear as a fleeting blur of russet fur his agile movements a blur of motion against the verdant backdrop of the forest. But as he drew closer, his features would become clearer, his bright eyes gleaming with mischief, his whiskers twitching with anticipation. Nutmeg would watch with bated breath as Chestnut scurried along the branches his nimble feet barely making a sound as he navigated the intricate maze of the tree. Sometimes he would pause to nibble on an acorn or exchange a playful chirp with a passing bird. His presence, a welcome sight amidst the quiet solitude of Nutmeg's world. And as quickly as he had appeared, Chestnut would vanish once more into the depths of the forest, leaving Nutmeg with a fluttering heart and a smile upon her lips. Though their encounters were brief, each sighting filled Nutmeg with a sense of joy and longing, reminding her of the bond they shared at the adventures that awaited beyond the confines of her tree. As the day drew to a close and the last rays of sunlight 
cast a golden hue upon the forest floor. Chestnut would find a cozy nook nestled amidst the foliage of a nearby tree. With careful precision, he would scamper up the sturdy branches, his agile movements guided by the light of the moon. Once he reached his chosen resting spot, Chestnut would settle himself into a comfortable position, his fluffy tail wrapped snugly around his body like a furry blanket. With a contented sigh, he would close his eyes, his breaths coming slow and steady as he drifted off into a peaceful slumber. Surrounded by the gentle rustle of leaves and the soothing symphony of nighttime sounds, Chestnut would surrender himself to the embrace of sleep, his dreams carrying him to distant realms where adventure awaited at every turn. And as he slept, his tail would twitch and flutter with the memories of the day's adventures, a silent testament to the joys of life in the forest and the bonds of friendship that bound him to Nutmeg and the other creatures of the woods. In the realm of dreams, Chestnut's imagination soared far beyond the boundaries of the forest whisking him away to fantastical landscapes where anything was possible. He dreamed of racing through fields of tall grass, his tiny feet kicking up clouds of dust as he chased after elusive shadows and darting fireflies. The wind whispered secrets in his ears as he soared through the open sky, his heart pounding with the thrill of freedom. In his dreams, Chestnut encountered creatures of every shape and size. Wise old owls who shared tales of ancient wisdom, playful foxes who danced beneath the moonlight, and majestic deer who guided him through enchanted forests filled with wonder and mystery. But amidst the excitement of his adventures, Chestnut's dreams always led him back to Nutmeg. In these moments, his heart swelled with warmth and affection his dreams filled with visions of their joyful escapades and the deep bond they shared. And so, wrapped in the comforting embrace of his dreams, Chestnut slept soundly through the night, knowing that wherever his dreams may take him, Nutmeg would always be there by his side. One serene morning, Bathed in the soft glow of dawn, Nutmeg and Chestnut sat side by side on the windowsill of Nutmeg's cozy tree abode. The forest around them was alive with the symphony of chirping birds and rustling leaves, a tranquil scene that belied the restlessness stirring within their hearts. In the quiet moments shared between them, Nutmeg and Chestnut exchanged glances filled with unspoken longing and determination. They knew that their destiny lay beyond the familiar confines of their tree, and a silent agreement passed between them, sealing their decision to embark on a new journey together. With a sense of purpose guiding their every movement, Nutmeg and Chestnut gathered their belongings. A few provisions, a blanket woven from strands of Nutmeg's luxuriant tail, 
and the memories of countless shared moments and made their way to the threshold of their home. As they stood at the doorway, a surge of excitement coursed through their veins, mingled with a hint of trepidation at the unknown path that lay ahead. But in each other's eyes, they found the courage and reassurance they needed to take the first step into the world beyond. Hand in hand, Nutmeg and Chestnut stepped out into the morning light, their hearts filled with a sense of freedom and possibility. With the rustling leaves as their witness and the whispers of the wind as their guide, they set forth on their journey ready to explore the wonders of the world together, united in friendship and bound by the shared dream of endless adventure. Nutmeg and Chestnut, their hearts brimming with joy, scampered along the branches of the towering oak trees, their laughter ringing out like chimes in the breeze. With nimble feet and agile movements, they danced among the leaves, their tails trailing behind them in a whirl of russet and gold. As they frolicked through the treetops, Nutmeg and Chestnut felt the rush of freedom coursing through their veins. They leaped from branch to branch with effortless grace, their movements guided by instinct and the unspoken bond that united them. With each leap and bound, they discovered new wonders hidden amidst the foliage, secret hollows where birds nested, delicate flowers that bloomed in the dappled sunlight, and breathtaking vistas that stretched out as far as the eye could see. And as they danced among the treetops, Nutmeg and Chestnut found themselves caught up in a whirlwind of laughter and camaraderie, their spirits soaring high above the forest canopy. In that moment, they were united in their shared love for adventure and the boundless beauty of the natural world. The branches of the towering oak trees were a study in contrasts. Their textures a tapestry woven from the elements of nature. From a distance they appeared rough and weathered, their surfaces etched with intricate patterns of bark and lichen. Up close, however, the branches revealed a surprising softness, their rough exteriors giving way to a velvety smoothness that invited touch. Beneath the calloused layers of bark, the wood was worn smooth by the passage of time and the caress of countless seasons. Running her paw along the surface of a branch, that Meg felt the gentle embrace of the oak, the texture warm and inviting beneath her touch. Each knot told a story of the tree's long and storied history, a testament to its resilience and strength through the years. And as Nutmeg and Chestnut frolicked among the branches, they reveled in the sensation of the wood beneath their feet the texture a constant reminder of their connection to the forest and the earth itself. In that moment, they were not merely creatures of the treetops, but guardians of the natural world, bound together by the timeless rhythm of life and growth. In the heart of the forest, a symphony of scents danced upon the breeze, each one a harmonious note in the song of nature. The air was alive with the earthy fragrance of damp soil, mingling with the sweet perfume of wildflowers that bloomed in hidden clearings. As nutmeg and chestnut ventured deeper into the woods, 
they were enveloped by the rich aroma of pine needles and cedar, their resinous scent mingling with the crisp freshness of the morning dew. The scent of moss and ferns hung heavy in the air, filling their nostrils with the intoxicating aroma of greenery and growth. Above them, the canopy of leaves released a symphony of scents with every rustle of the wind. The spicy fragrance of oak leaves, the delicate perfume of maple blossoms, and the tangy scent of wild berries ripening in the sun. And as they wandered through the forest, Nutmeg and Chestnut encountered a myriad of other scents, the musky aroma of a passing deer, the pungent scent of mushrooms growing in the shadows, and the tantalizing fragrance of ripe fruit dangling from the branches above. Each scent carried with it a story of the forest's abundance and diversity, a testament to the interconnectedness of all living things and as nutmeg and chestnut breathed in the fragrant tapestry of the forest, they felt a deep sense of gratitude for the beauty and wonder that surrounded them, knowing that they were truly home amidst the scents of the woods. In the heart of the forest, a symphony of sounds filled the air, weaving together to create a cacophony of life and movement. From the gentle rustle of leaves in the breeze to the melodic chirping of birds in the treetops, every sound seemed to have a story to tell. The forest echoed with the trill of songbirds, their voices rising and falling in a harmonious chorus that seemed to dance upon the wind. Above them, the rhythmic tapping of woodpeckers echoed through the trees, punctuating the stillness with bursts of percussive energy. Beneath the canopy, the forest floor teemed with activity. The scurry of small creatures darting among the underbrush, the soft rustle of leaves as they brushed against one another, and the occasional snap of a twig underfoot. As Nutmeg and Chestnut made their way through the forest, they encountered a myriad of other sounds, the haunting call of an owl in the night, the distant howl of a wolf, and the gentle murmur of a babbling brook as it wound its way through the trees. Each sound added to the tapestry of the forest, a symphony of nature's voices blending together in perfect harmony. And as Nutmeg and Chestnut listened to the music of the woods, they felt a sense of peace and belonging wash over them as they fell asleep peacefully. Good night, little ones. Sleep tight.